second year. How are you today? Well, today is Monday, the 7th of September, and we are going to work on unit 11 pages from, from pages 129 to page 133, ¿ok? Todas estas páginas a la par de la videoclase. Y ahora, en la primera parte de la clase, tengo que tomar los verbos 1. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vos tenés que tener las repeticiones en tu casa. La columna de infinitive, la columna de past y la columna de past participle. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? So, let's repeat. Be, was, were, been. Become, became, become. Begin, began, began. Bring, brought, brought. Build, built, built. Buy, bought, bought. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, came, come. Do, de, done. Y ahora voy a dar de tarea la, la columna número, la, la parte 2, ¿ok? Todos estos verbos yo ya los dicté, ¿sí? Eh, en las clases anteriores. Todos los minis, los significados como hacemos cada año, ¿ok? Bye bye unit, bye bye unit 10, hello unit 11, ¿ok? Bueno, um, let's go. Ahora se nos va a quedar una unidad solamente, que será la, la unidad número 2, eh, 12. Vamos a estar con la 11 y la 12 y después ya vamos a comenzar las que en esquematizaciones, ¿ok? Bueno, so pay attention now. Can we go to page 129, please? 129, 130, 131, 32, and 33 with the date in all the pages, ¿ok? The date in all the pages. And we are going to start. ¿Ok? So, do you like going on holidays? Yes. Yes or no? And why? Do you remember the types of holidays? Well, so I'm going to project different, different types of holidays. ¿Ok? Is it clear? Right? Then you are, you are going to tell me which holidays do you prefer? Yes, which holiday? How are you today? Fine? Well, this is a very nice topic. Which holiday, holiday do you prefer? Do you prefer? Which holidays uh, have you done in the past? And which holidays are you going to do in the future? Okay, is it clear? So you have the types of holidays there. Okay, so you have camping holiday, backpacking holiday, yes, backpacking around the world, yeah, so you need a backpack and you put all the things you need there, yeah, a package holiday, a sightseeing tour and hiking in the mountains are some, some of the holidays you have, okay, so a package holiday is, uh, the, hol is the holiday that you have all included, the hotel, the food, the drinks, food and drinks, yes, okay, is it clear? The tours sometimes, so that is why it is called package, yes, está todo en un paquete, yes, sightseeing holidays, I seen too, you already know, uh, when you go sightseeing, you must visit the different, you buy the tickets in the double decker, for example, this is a um, touristic bus, yes, okay, so you buy the tickets and you will go, Yes, sightseeing. It means that you will visit the different important uh, places from the city you are visiting. Very well, you know, hiking in the mountains. Well, you need this stick. Yes, backpacking. Yes, you need the backpack and you go around the world. And then you have the camping holiday. Yes, okay. Well, so which one is your favorite? Yes, which one is your favorite and why? Which, uh, my favorite is, um, oh my God, I like both. Sightseeing too, yes, because I like, when I go to a place, I like visiting the most important places from a city. Uh, which one I have done before, yes, okay? Pay attention with the present perfect, okay? You need to know the third column, la tercera columna. ¿Se acuerdan que para comunicarnos con el pasado, nosotros teníamos que tener súper clara la segunda columna que es del pasado? Ahora, si yo quiero expresarme en el present perfect, 
voy a tener que saber la tercera columna de verbo, que es el past part. ¿Es clear? Well, so which one I have done? I have done um, backpacking around the world. Um, I have done sightseeing, a sightseeing tour. I have gone to a sightseeing tour. I have done package holiday, but I have never done a camping holiday or a hiking holiday, hiking around the mountain. Yes, is it clear? Well, um, which I am going to do? Well, maybe I'm going to um, go on a package holiday and on a sightseeing tour, yes? Because I, I would like to go again to other places, to visit other places, is it clear? So, now is your turn, yes? You will put pause, you will pause the video and you will say why, which one do you like, which one have you done, yes, and which one you are going to do, yes, so you are going to use the a few present simple, yes, which one you, you prefer, I prefer blah blah blah, then which have you done, present perfect, and which one are you going to do, okay, as I did it, yes, as I have done before, okay, well, so, uh, before going to the, um, the book activities, you know, I always present, introduce the topic, no present, introduce the topic, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando yo les digo volver a ver la parte del video donde presento y el que no ve los videos, bueno, no va a tener buenos resultados, no va a llegar con, eh, no va a llegar con los objetivos que tenemos porque los videos son las clases, las personas que no ven los videos no están haciendo las clases. ¿Se entiende? Pero bueno, esto lo tienen que manejar, ¿ok? Well, um, pay attention now. Um, so, we're going to go there now. I'm going to project another picture. And we're going to discuss these questions, yes? What do you, know, what do you normally plan? How do you plan? When do you plan your holiday? Yes, ok. Uh, a year before, six year before, six, six months before, a year before, or a weekend before, yes? Because you know, if you uh, buy a package holiday, if you buy the tickets, yes, sometimes you plan one year before because the tickets are less expensive, yes, are cheaper if you book the tickets before, yes? So, how do you do, yes, okay? Um, how long does it take you to plan your holiday? One holiday is one week, two months, a month, a year, yes? Do you do everything in advance, yes, or at the last minute? And then we're going to talk about the, um, the vocabulary you need to know, yes, when you go, yes, abroad, yes, to another country, okay? Is it clear? Good. Okay, so these are uh, the things, the holiday list, yes, okay, that is important, yes, okay, money, yes, okay, money. For example, if you go to Paraguay, you will need some Guaranis, yes, okay, depending on the place you go, if you go to the United Kingdom, you will um, need uh, pounds, and if you go to Europe, you will need, yes, euros, okay? So, the money is very important, yes? Uh, of course, your return ticket, yes, okay, return ticket, yes, so you have a single, yes, ticket and return ticket, yes, single ticket is the only, you buy the ticket for going, but then you have return ticket is the ticket you need to return, okay? Then you need the passport, your ID, yes. Okay, you need a dictionary too, yes. If you go abroad, I mean, in a country that uh, Spanish is not spoken. Is it clear? Right. You need to carry on the back, yes, of course. Uh, your license, your driver, uh, driver license, yeah, or driving license. Okay, of course, you need the Visa, yes, okay, la visa, y siempre vamos a pedir la visa, yes, okay, and you need a tour guide, yes, so you can read 
all the most important places you are going to um, um, go. Yes, it's clear? Right. So have a look at the picture, yeah, and take into account all the most important things, yes, that you have to, um, that are important, yes, that you have to take into account, yes, when you travel abroad, yes, okay? What is abroad? To another country uh, where uh, Spanish is not spoken, yes? Is it clear? Right, yes, okay. Yes, that the list, the holiday list. So let's repeat: money, passport, return ticket, single ticket, dictionary. Yes, because you don't know the language from the place you are going. Carry on the back your license, your driving license, tour guide, a tour guide, and your visa. Yes, okay, your visa, your passport. Yes, your passport with the visa. That is the permission you need to go there, to go to a country abroad, yes, okay, visa, no visa, visa, yes, okay, your visa, okay, well, so, and then, uh, okay, so here we have the things that a tourist should do, todos nos acordamos, okay, el uso de should, que sería should, para dar advice, sabíamos que era para dar consejo, sí, y teníamos lo que debería y lo que no debería, Acordate que cuando aparece el should o shouldn't, el verbo va en infinitivo, ¿sí? Infinitivo. Should más verbo en infinitivo porque es un modal. Igual que después de can, y después de have to, después de must, los verbos van en infinitivo, después de un verbo modal. Un verbo modal, es yes, modal verbo, ¿ok? So, what a tourist should do? Respect other cultures, of course. A tourist should uh, take public transport. A should, yes, if you take the public transport, of course, you will have more contact with local people, yes? And you could uh, know better, yes, okay, uh, the people from the country you are visiting, yes, okay? So, you should record memories by taking photographs, recording videos, okay? What a tourist shouldn't do, yes? You shouldn't disrespect other cultures, yes? And you have a picture there. You shouldn't think that everyone speak English, yes? Because you say, can I, can I, can you tell me where the hospital is? And you know, these people speak German, they don't speak, so you shouldn't think that everyone, that everybody, yes, speaks uh, English, yes, okay? Um, you shouldn't take, yes, pictures without permission, okay? I can recognize it, yes? Everyone speaks, yes, okay? Is it clear? Well, so, um, is it clear? So the things you should and you shouldn't do, okay? So if you are a tourist, you have to, you should respect other cultures, cultures, you should have a visa, you should take public transport to have more contacts, contacts on, and to know uh, local people, you should record memories, you should take photographs. If you are, uh, if you travel, if you are a tourist, you shouldn't, yes, disrespect other cultures, you shouldn't think that all, all the people there speak, um, uh, English, you shouldn't take pictures without permission, yes, okay? And now we have, have to, don't have to, and can. Lo mismo, entonces hoy tenemos should, shouldn't, debería, no debería, tengo que, no tengo que, puedo, no puedo. Ya puedo, no puedo, lo saben, y have to también. Siempre después de estos verbos, el verbo, de modal verbs, el verbo va a ir en infinitivo, infinitivo, yes, okay, so, it is used for things you need to do following a rule, you have to drive, yes, left in Australia, 
Yes, okay? Things you don't have to do. Yes, okay? Yes, don't have to pay anything. Yes, at the bar. Yes, okay? Pay for anything. Yes, okay? It's clear? Good. Uh, then, it is used when we talk about permission. You can't smoke here and you can't take pictures here. Is it clear? So, en el cuadernito, cada uno va a escribir un ejemplo con should, un ejemplo con shouldn't, one example with can, can't, have to, and don't have to. For example, I should study. I shouldn't throw rubbish on the floor. I shouldn't speak in the classroom when the teacher is giving classes. I have to uh, eat something. Yes, I'm starving. I don't have to uh, feed animals at the zoo. I can swim, but I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, um, I can't. Ask the teacher, I'm going to make an example with the classroom. I can't, uh, talk, uh, I can't ask questions to the teacher, but I can't speak with my partners when the teacher is giving classes. Is it clear? So the same examples or other you can write or others you can write on your paper, okay? On your notebook, in the cuaderno de inglés. Okay, good. And then we have the use of take. Acuérdate que esta es la, la parte que yo te digo. Mirate la primer parte de la clase donde presento ta, 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 ta. Yo presento todo siempre, como ustedes lo saben, y después nos vamos a los ejercicios. Ahora, la persona que está viendo la clase y no hace los ejercicios del libro ni del activity book, cua, 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 ya sabe que no va a tener resultados positivos. I'm sorry to say that. Ok? Bueno, so, take an object. Los diferentes usos de take. Yes, atención aquí. Yes, so, take an object. Take a type of transport and take a uh, time when you stop work. Yes, okay? So you can take, tomar un objeto, take an umbrella, take an apple. Yes, un tipo de transporte, take the bus, take a taxi. Yes, okay? Uh, take the underground and take, yes, when you rest. Take plus time when you rest. Take a break, take a holiday, take a break. Is it clear? Entonces ahí tenés los diferentes usos de take. Yes, ok. Take más un objeto, take an umbrella, take a glass, take an apple, take plus a type of transport, take a taxi, take a bus, take the underground, and take plus when you stop working. Yes, ok. Take a rest and take a holiday. Is it clear? So that is all the presentation. So now we can move to the activities on pages, from pages 129 to 133 páginas a la par de la videoclase. ¿Es clear? Right. Porque ahora ya tenemos todo presentado lo que vos necesitas saber para hacer las actividades del libro, ¿ok? So, we are going to go to uh, listening on page 129 exercise. Listen to a man talking about his holiday in Jordan. Why was the table in the desert? What happened? And what you can see in the picture there, okay, you can see a, a, a table, yes, it, with a kettle, kettle is una pava, and I think I can see some glasses, some cup of, for drinking, some tea, I think, and the, um, you know, the table is in the middle of the desert, but I don't know why, so we are going to listen to the recording, and we are going to uh, see what happened. And then you must highlight all the type of holidays there. A camping holiday, a sightseeing tour, the one that I present, I introduced there. Yes, okay. And exercise four, we, are already, uh, we have already done because that was the, uh, you know, the, um, the presentation. Is it clear? Right, there we are. Track 101. Say why the table is there in the middle. When I was 19, I took a gap year between school and university. So what is a gap 
year. G-A-P. A gap year is uh, when you take a year off. Yes, okay? Maybe after, uh, when you finish secondary school or when you finish university, you take a gap year. Yes, so you are free and you go, you travel around the world in your gap year. Is it clear? All right. I saved some money and then I went backpacking around the world. So, what kind of holidays did he do? Yes, a touring hol a tour holiday, a package holiday, a, a backpacking around the world, a backpacking around the world. Well done. Okay, and he saved money. Yes, his parents didn't pay for this, uh, um, you know, backpacking around the world. So he saved the money. All right. S A V E D saved in the past. Okay. My favorite memory is when I was traveling in the desert in Jordan, Jordan and I met some local people. They were called Bedouin and they lived in... How do, how do we call local people in Formosa? Santa Fecino or Formoseños? Yes? Formoseños are the local people, okay? Yes? I met some local people. They were called Bedouin and they lived in tents in the desert. They were very friendly and invited me for tea. It was a hot afternoon, but they put the table outside and made hot tea. We all sat in the middle of the desert, drank tea and watched the sun go down. It was wonderful. Okay, so what was the experience? He was in Jordan, yes, and he went to the desert. Yes, he, um, the speaker met some people in Bedouin, yes, who lived in tents. They, people, local people who lived in tents, you know, carpas, in the middle of the desert. So they were very friendly, they were very nice. And what happened? They put the, it, it was very hot, as it was very hot, they put the table in the middle of the desert. And what happened? They invited him to drink some tea, yes, outside, yes, and it was a very, very nice memory for him because they went there, they spoke, they stayed there, they spoke, he had a very nice moment and he watched the sun go down, yes, el atardecer, and it was a very nice experience, I think, yes, okay, so let's go to page 100 and 130, 131, Yes, and it says there, uh, when do you normally plan, okay, we have already said that, so we are going to move, because we have already talk, talked about exercise one, how long does it take you to plan, or your parents, to plan your holidays, yes, okay, holidays, what, a month, two months, a year, because you always buy tickets uh, beforehand, yes, because they are cheaper, yeah, and if you buy the tickets at the last minute, for example, by plane, they are more expensive, yes? So, I want you to think about that, yes? How long does it take your family, yes, to uh, prepare holidays? So, you're going to read uh, the information in exercise two, yes? You're going to do exercises three and four, yes? Two, three and four. Yes, so information for tourists and visitors in Australia. And then you are going to do exercise three. Yes, and exercise four. Complete the information about Brazil with these words. And I want all the words to be highlighted. Road, travel, weather, money, visas and language. And then climate, currency. Yes, is the money you need. Yes, okay, what I need, pounds, uh, euros, okay. License multicultural right hand side and you know in um, England you have to write on your le left okay temperature and visa okay so now is the time that you stop the video do the activities and then listen to the answers okay uh, on the A. is it clear right two stop the video do the activities and then listen to the answers I continue visas money language, weather, and road travel. Exercise three, two, 
And five, followed the information in the text it says, you can't work in Australia without a work visa. And always use lots of sun cream and wear a hat because you know it is very, very hot. Exercise four, one visa, two currency, three multicultural, four climate, five temperature, six right hand side, and license. Okay, is it clear? Good. Well, um, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, we have uh, on page 131, you are going to highlight the chart of have to, don't have to, can and can't, yes? And you are going to do exercises uh, 7, 5 and 8, yes? 7, 5 and 8, yes? And 10. Yes, okay, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? Good, exercise seven. Five, sorry. Okay, so what is the currency in Argentina? Pesos. Uh, do, do tourists need a visa? Yes, I think yes, okay. What's the normal temperature in the summer and winter? No, I don't think we need a visa for entering, um, you know, uh, Argentina. Maybe yes, okay, I think yes, okay. Uh, the summer and winter, uh, well, the summer um, is hot, yes, depending on their provinces, yes, okay. In Formosa, for example, the summer is very hot, and the winter is not very hot because we don't have a long winter, just two weeks more or less, or one week, yes, and the rest is not very, um, uh, we don't have um, very low temperatures, yes, okay. Um, well, which side of the road do you drive on? The right. Do you, do you always have to carry on your driving license? Yes, of course, and your ID. How multicultural is your country? Well, our country is very multicultural. Here for, in Buenos Aires, there are a lot of people, yes, studying and working from other places, from Colombia, from uh, Panama, yes, from Paraguay, different places, yes. And of course, here in our province, we have many uh, people from Paraguay working, yes, and living, yes, okay. Well, exercise seven, one E, two, F, 3A, 4B, 5C, and 6D. Okay, good. 8, yes? Okay. 1, have 2. 2, have 2. 3, don't have 2. 4, don't have 3, have 2. 4, don't have 2. 5, can. Six, seven, six count, yes, the lift, yes, the lift is an ascensor, the elevator is in American English, that is ascensor too, yes, but the words are different, one is American, one is British, lift, and the other American, uh, uh, elevator, yes, eight, have to, okay, is it clear? So in exercise uh, 10, well, this is, choose one situation below and complete the sentences, okay? Visiting another country as a tourist. Well, you have to. Um, have a visa. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to smoke. Yes, in some places. You can uh, drive there if you have uh, an international license. And you can't. Um, you can't disrespect, yes, the culture of the country. Is it clear? Good. So let's go to pages 132, 133. Tourism, yes. What kind of tourists are you? Yes, and you have to uh, complete, yes, this questionnaire. Yes, you have to complete this questionnaire. Yes, okay. Okay. Do you always buy a return ticket? Yes. Check in uh, more than one bag? Yes. Okay. 
Book the hotel in advance, not always. Rent a car, not always. Buy souvenirs, yes, sometimes. Use a tour guide, yes, of course. And do you like sightseeing? Yes, okay. So, did you take more questions for tourist A or tourist B? Yeah. Te vas a ir a la página 157 y vas a ver qué clase de turista sos, depending on the test, eh? dependiendo de este test, yeah? Tourist B. Do you often buy a single ticket? Yes. No. Uh, only take one car even back? No. Find a hotel after, uh, after you arrive? Yes. Use public transport? Yes. Buy local food at market? Yes. Uh, learn some phrases in the local language? Yes, ok. And meet local people? Yes, ok. Dependiendo de los tics que tuviste, yes, ok, vas a ver si sos un turista A o B. Yes, es clear? Pero para eso tenés que ir a la 157 y chequear que te salió, ok. Well, so we have world building here. Yes, ok. Yes, so you have um, tourist. Seguimos con world building. So, tourist. ¿Qué clase de palabra es tourist? Now, muy bien, un sustantivo. Touristic adjetivo. This is a touristic place. Yes, a place. Ok. And then you have tour guide. Tour guide. This is a noun too. Entonces, todas estas palabras pertenecen a word building. A la forma en que Aprendemos, it says, it's useful, it's useful to learn other words in the same family. Son de la misma familia de palabras, yes? Tourist, touristic, tour guide, yes? Is it clear? So this is word building, yes? Words that belong to the same family, okay? Is it clear? Well, for example, um, then you have in exercise three. You are going to do exercises three, yes? Uh, nine, ten. Yes, three, nine and ten. Do it, okay? Good, good, good. There. There we Ok, so, exercises 1, yes, from page uh, 132, yes, ok. Return, a ticket to travel, yes, quiero que estén subrayadas estas palabras. A ticket to travel to a place and back, return, yes, ok. Single, a ticket for travel to a place but not back, yes. Do you buy a single ticket? Or a return ticket. Entonces, single ticket va a ser el ticket que compras eh, para viajar a un lugar, pero no regresas. Te vas a ese lugar. Y return ticket es el ida y vuelta, ¿sí? Compras para irte y para regresar, ¿ok? Atención ahí. Todas estas palabritas que estoy diciendo del ejercicio 100, página eh, 732, ejercicio 1, tienen que estar en el cuaderno de la A a la Z, con un ejemplo, ¿sí? ¿Es it clear? Good. Uh, single, number 3, carry on. You carry this bag onto the plane. Entonces, carry on es la maleta que te dejan um, subir con vos, ¿sí? En el avión, por ejemplo, ¿sí? ¿yes? Porque las otras las tenés que despachar, ¿sí? ¿yes? ¿Ok? Book, ¿yes? ¿yes? Book, number four. Telephone for a hotel, room, yep. Remember, reservar. You can book a table at the hotel. You can book, uh, book tickets through internet. You can book um, a hotel room, a room in a hotel. Souvenir, yes, special objects you buy on holidays, check in, yes, okay, give your bag to the airplane so they can put it on the plane, entonces tenés que hacer el check-in, ¿qué quiere decir el check-in? It's when you go, yes, and you give your bag to the airline, yes, so they can put it on a plane, is it clear? Good. Um, well, then you got sightseeing, looking at going to and see. The most famous and interesting, interesting places in a city, for example. Yes, rent. 
yes, to pay to use something for a period of time. You can rent a car, rent an apartment, okay? Good. Then, uh, we have should and shouldn't, yes, okay? Acordate, las cosas que debes, deberías y no deberías, ¿sí? You should re rent a car. Should I go with a tourist guy? Tour guy, yes, okay? Yes, you should, no, you shouldn't, okay? Is it clear? Que lo presenté al principio. Entonces, ejercicio 3 de la página 133. Yes, ok. Travel, traveler, travel, travel guy. Yes, esa sí tiene un noun más noun correlation. Yes, ok. Entonces, todas las palabras que vienen que podemos encontrar de la familia de travel. Ok. Travel, verbo. Traveler, noun. Travel, noun, otro sustantivo. Travel guide, noun plus noun correlation. Visit, the verb, visitor, the noun, visitor center, yes, noun plus, plus noun collocation. Drive, driver, the noun, drive, the verb, driving license, driving license, yes, noun plus noun collocation. Is it clear? Yes, all right. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Well, and then you have take. También tiene que estar marcado. Entonces acá tenemos el cuadro de World Building, el cuadro de Should and Shouldn't, y tenemos en el ejercicio 10, Take. Yes, ok. A taxi, an umbrella, a break. Acuérdate los tres, la, la presentación de Take. ¿Cómo va? Con un... Um, aquí. Con, when you stop work, yes, take a break. When you take a type of transport, take the taxi, take the underground, take the bus. And when you take an object, take an apple, take a pen, yes, is it clear? So, let's correct exercise nine. You should take a holiday. Two, you should wear sun cream. You shouldn't go sightseeing. Three, you should learn some words. You shouldn't take the bus. You shouldn't buy your souvenirs here. You should go sightseeing. You should take a boat. You shouldn't go in the winter, yes, because it's very, very cold, okay? Exercise 10, take a break, take a taxi, and take an umbrella. Yes, okay, is it clear? Y tenemos otros ejemplos de take, take a, a short break, take the train, take a coat, take a tour, take a cruise ship, yes, okay? Son los ejercicios de la página 139, yes, okay? Good. Well, so uh, that was all. Yes, okay. If you choose, for example, uh, Buenos Aires, what things I should do in Buenos Aires and what things I shouldn't do in Buenos Aires? Well, in Buenos Aires, you should visit, uh, visit uh, you should go sightseeing. You should see the Casa Rosada, the Obelisco. You should go shopping. You shouldn't go out at night because it's dangerous. You shouldn't disrespect uh, the monuments, for example. You shouldn't, um, you shouldn't go to um, dangerous uh, places at night, yes, okay? And you shouldn't take your bag with you, yes, okay? Is it clear? Yes, okay. You shouldn't take a big bag with you, yes, because there are pickpockets. Yes, okay. Well, um, tarea, activity book pages, composition number three from the list, estudiar la parte dos de los verbos de la lista, lo que hicimos hoy en la primera clase, y leer la historia de Charm, que está en el mismo librito, ok, en Los Love and Other Stories. Ahora nos toca la historia de Charm, más el brainstorming. Entonces, lees la historia y ya haces el brainstorming. Este brainstorming tiene fecha de salida hoy, 7 del 9, pero te voy a dar tiempo que me presentes para el 14 del 9, ¿está? 
Entonces, Composition 3, sí, es para la clase que viene y el Activity Book. Y estudiar los verbos, hacer las repeticiones. Pero, Read the Charm, más el Brainstorming, vos te organizás como vos quieras, ¿sí? Para el 14, que es el Monday que viene, el Next Monday, yo tengo que tener eh, el Brainstorming. Que se escribe porque después te voy a pedir el vídeo. Ok, 3 minutes, explaining the story. Pues ya sabes que va todo parte por parte. Composition number 3, it says, uh, write a composition about your mother's routine. Mass words, friendly, honest, outgoing, lazy, romantic, and adapted. Well, ¿cuántas palabras? 80 words. Yes, ok. 80 words. 80 palabras. Ok. ¿Es it clear? Right, right, right. Okay. Todo está en la foto pisada siempre, ¿eh? Ok. Well, so, uh, my mother is a very uh, active, um, outgoing, and friendly woman. Um, she's not very romantic. She doesn't like showing uh, her feelings in front of other people. Yes, okay. She's honest. She's an She's, uh, she's very honest, yes, uh, she isn't lazy at all, she likes doing a lot of things at home and at, out of the house, she's very active, she likes doing uh, exercises, she goes to the gym every day, well from Monday to Friday, and on Saturday and Sunday she rides uh, her bicycle uh, along the riverside, yes, okay. Um, she gets up, uh, she wakes up uh, at 9, she has her breakfast, then she prepares herself, she cleans her teeth and everything, she prepares herself for going to the gym, she goes to the gym, yes, for two hours or one hour and a half, yes, she does her routine there, and then she comes back, she goes by bicycle because she likes riding her bike, uh, when she comes back she has a bath, And then she cooks for uh, my father and my brother because my because my one of my brother lives there in the house in my family house um, at my family's house. Yes, um, well she likes uh, going out with friends at the weekend. Um, she loves my daddy and she loves um, all her family. Yes, she's a very nice person, but she, sometimes she's a bit bossy. Yes, okay? Bueno, composition as I did in the example, but you have to do it with you. Please, check grammar, spelling, punctuation. Bye-bye, see you next class. Do homework.